Hey guys, it's me, Will Patterson from Break Designs, and I'm coming with a new tutorial. This tutorial is all about how to create this design right here, uh, which is a brush design. It's basically text um, saying brush with brush strokes in it, and it looks really effective. So uh, basically the fill of the text is just a brush stroke and it spells it out. I have put a stroke around it, so it uh, in a bit of a, an attempt to and make it look better but I think that stroke didn't look too great so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new document I'm gonna show you exactly how I made this so go and press command N or control N or go to file a new document and then we're gonna go into a 1280 by 720 document just like so and we're gonna press OK now will bring it up here make sure it's an RGB and stuff then get your type tool out I press D to get my uh, default colors uh, and get the type tool out by pressing T then just press brush and choose a font I chose Myriad Pro Bold Condensed because it's a good font but choose a font that is um, very sort of thick and it is condensed because I think that gives it a better look condensed is, everyone has this font so yeah after you've written it down make sure you size it up by pressing command T to get into free transform mode and then it gets to the size you want double click to exit out of free transform mode and then we want to align this to uh, the background so the easiest way to do that is pressing command or control a and then go up to the align options and making sure you are on the brush layer of the text layer and press the horizontal uh, sorry the vertical and the horizontal axis is just like that so this one and this one and this will align the brush um, text right in the center of your document then press command D to get rid of the selection next thing we're going to do is we're going to press go to the fill over here and we're going to go and bring that all the way down you can also do that by going into your blending options by right clicking blending options going up here to your fill and bringing all that down and pressing OK the next thing we want to do is we want to hold command and then on the thumbnail of this uh, layer of the brush layer you can see if I hold command you get this hand but then when I go over to this left edge of it of the actual thumbnail and click on it you'll see that it selects um, it gives a selection of the text so all we need to do now is create a new layer by pressing this button down here and then go into our brush um, br uh, go into our brush bit here now you can see that I've just got this weird um, what's it called weird sort of pointer cursor thing that's because the brush is so big that you have to zoom out to see it and that's how big the brush is and it's massive so if I did click now making sure that you're selected onto your artboard and click you'll see that the brush will select inside those edges inside the selection so what I want to do is I want to zoom out a little bit more so I can get a good angle of what I'm doing I'm going to I've created a new layer it's going to cause a brush one and I'm going to change the color of uh, my brush and I'm going to do that by uh, coming over to my color swatches over here and then I'm going to come over here and press my little swatch here for anyone wanting to get the same color as me I've chosen in the hex code B59354 that's the best one to do then I'm going to with that with the color selected I'm going to just press in a very tactical way maybe just maybe just here bit of trial and error to see where you want to go I want it to look like a proper brush yeah maybe about there that'll do then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a new layer by coming down here and just making a new layer call this one a brush 2 and I'm going to change the color but what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this primary color by pressing X and that's going to switch to the background and we're going to go to a a different color but on the same palette so I'm going to go to the one next to it and this color is called 61301D on the hex code and for anyone not understanding the hex codes and stuff if you just go back to my color picker um, this basically you can type this in and it gives you the exact color that I'm using so it's a very easy way so make sure you type that in then I'm going to just do it again I'm just going to press uh, I'm going to press on the brush stroke like this and you can get a cool effect if you wanted to like that maybe like so you can add different blend modes as well that's one thing I forgot to tell you you can add different blend modes within all this so it's, it looks really good after I'm trying to get it so it's, it's looking uh, it's looking quite nice instead of 
yeah like that so, it's, so you can sort of see the definition you can see the words and stuff the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a very light sorry a very gr sort of light grey creamy um, colour and into a new layer and I'm just going to go brush 3 you can also change these layers to the colours colour names if you wanted to I'm just going to you know I could change the brush actually if I wanted to I've got these I've got a selection of these brushes here by right clicking I can get the uh, brushes right there and I can just sort of select it I don't really want to though because these brushes aren't very a very good sort of thing but I'm going to press that and I don't want it to overtake um, all the other colors so I'm going to bring the brushy down to the brush one so it sort of fills in the gaps for us like so now I'm going to press V to get to my selection tool and then I'm going to press command D and then I'm going to press command 1 and you'll see that your finished product is right there and that is basically the brush text now a better way also should I say not a better way but a different way you could do it is you could do exactly what I did there but because the brush you're probably wondering why I didn't just bring the opacity down on the brush uh, layer that's because when you bring the opacity down that changes the layer styles as well the layer styles are these things in the blending options so when you right click and go to blending options this is your layer styles and when you change the fill you're only changing the fill of the raw image that you put in there but the layer styles stay so I wanted to add anything like I'd say a drop shadow shall I say drop shadow if I can speak I'll just click on there and I'll put, dial in some values you can see that the um, it gives the effect that the sort of text thing is a sort of color and a pattern because the fill of this brush layer I gotta stop pointing at the screen the fill of this brush layer is not there anymore but the blend mode is so you could have it so you have this sort of 3d look or this sort of embossed look of the brush text me personally I think that looks good but not as good as that uh, it looks very cool that sort of look so if you like this video then thumb Give it a thumbs up, shall I say, and if you want to know more about Photoshop or Illustrator, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and look out for the new I Am Creative series coming up very soon with all the new videos. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Will Patterson. Have a good day.